Hi there, I have a tutorial for you today. Um, today what we're going to do is change the color of this dress using only Lightroom and we're going to use range masking to pull it off. Um, range masking is one of my favorite features of Lightroom. I use it all the time for all kinds of things. Um, I love really dramatic skies, so I use it a lot to pull out more color or to make my skies look like more stormy. Um, but another way you can use it is to actually change the color of clothes. And this shoot was the perfect opportunity because the dress is just, you know, like the color of her skin in sand, so it doesn't really pop. So I just felt like I would play around in Lightroom one day and see if there was anything that I could do to make it stand out more. So this was taken in Florida, just off the side of the road on a random like sand dune that I found. Uh, it was taken at noon, just going out with a friend and trying to play around. I love shooting in harsh light, so this is a fun day for that. Um, and I think that's all the background you need. So um, let's get started. Um, all you need is to click on the little brush tool up here. And um, I'm gonna double click on effect. It just kind of resets everything to zero. I taught an editing class recently and that literally over the entire hour and a half, that was most people's biggest like aha moment. I'm not kidding that you can double click to reset all of your settings within any of these panels. So I want to make sure and pass that along. Anyway, um, all I'm going to do is I want to hit the letter O because I want to see my mask as I paint. And as I paint this on, you'll see my mask is actually green. If yours is not and you would like it to be, I want you to hit the letter or the shift key and then hit the letter O. And then it's going to cycle through either lightning, darkening, turning your mask red or turning it green. And I just personally found that um, using a green mask was a lot easier when I was um, painting over skin and stuff than the red, since the red is so close to skin tone. So anyway, um, I can be a little bit sloppy about this. So you can see it's spilling over into the sky. Um, and I'm just making sure to get all of this dress. And then if I want, I can be a little bit more careful um, and go a little bit smaller over where I know her arm is. Also keeping in mind that the dress is really similar, again, to the skin, and I don't want to change the color of her skin. I just want to change this dress. So I can be a little bit more careful or not. All right, so that green, green makes it like super easy to see, right? Um, all right. So the next step is to go over here to range masking and select color. And then I'm going to select the dropper. And then I'm just going to take a sample of the dress, just like that. And so you can see it like really easily masked off of the sky, um, obviously, because that's like not close to that beige color at all. You can see that it is still on her arm. And so there's a few things that we can do. One is you can change the sensitivity of your mask. So um, the more you go to the left, the more sensitive that mask is going to be. Um, but the downside to that is that you'll often get like halos, um, which is like totally what I don't want at all because that's just going to make um, everything look super fake. And I'll toggle that mask off and you can see um, I could just bring up my exposure or bring it down or something. Well, I'll go ahead. This is the really fun part. I'm gonna bring that exposure up just a little bit. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop a color on so you can kind of more easily see the changes. So um, yeah, all I'm gonna do is just pick any color I wanna change this dress to. Um, so we'll go with like purple for now. Um, anyway, so you can see it's super sensitive here and so it's masking off of like all of these parts that are kind of like more white, less beige, um, but it is masking off of her arm. And then when I make it less sensitive, you can see it's all over her arm still. Um, so anyway, when I'm playing with sensitivity, I usually, I'll make it a little bit more sensitive, but only to about there. But um, for this case, I'm going to keep it right there in the middle. And then I'm just going to zoom in on her arms and I'm going to hit erase. And then I'm also want to make sure that the auto mask is checked on. 
And the way that auto mask works is basically anything this subtraction, like you see in the center here, that subtraction line, um, any color that hits is what it's going to erase within the circle. So a good example of this would be if I was erasing, um, if it had still spilled into the sky, I could erase just the um, like sky right here and even though the circles are touching the dress it wouldn't erase off of the dress because it just wants to erase whatever um, that subtraction line is hitting so I hope that makes sense um, anyway I'm just gonna go a little bit smaller and then I'm just going to erase off of her arm here and again this will be a little bit harder so it's gonna depend on what color the thing is that you're changing and what color is like immediately surrounding it so if you're trying to change the color of a blue dress with a blue sky behind it you might find it a little more difficult to make um, a believable selection but otherwise um, it's pretty easy um, and then if you want to paint back on just hit the option key when you're there in erase and then you can just brush back on since I erased off the dress a little bit and then I can come over here and just erase off of her arm and hand right there. Any pink. Um, then I'm gonna hit the space bar since I'm zoomed in, just to um, grab around. You can see there's some um, in the tree right here because these tree limbs are actually like the same color as the dress. Um, so you can erase off of those or you could have just been more careful and not done such a sloppy selection like I did. but. Anyway, um, maybe a little bit down here in the sand. Anyway, I feel like it does a pretty amazing job. I'm going to just paint a little bit more right there and maybe right here under her arm. Okay, and then I'm going to go back up to fit and then you can play around. So um, you can drop any color on top. If your dress wasn't beige to begin with, what you can do is desaturate the color in the dress and then you can also play around with the exposure so if you're going for like a darker purple color or something just bring that exposure down and I actually think I'm going to go ahead and um, brush some more on the tips of the dress so you can see too when you go to extremes like when I am um, making it like way darker or way lighter um, you're going to start to see problems with your mask as well that weren't quite as like easy to see before and i don't have my flow set to 100 either you can see over here it's at 94. Um, so it's not painting a hundred percent on the dress if, i hope that makes sense to you um, so you can kind of build up your mask by painting over and you can play around with that and see um, what type of flow you like like maybe you want to do 50 and just like ease you know brush it on over and over again um anyway i just want to show you some more colors because this is so fun that green is amazing um, and then you can also you can play with your saturation here of course so this is really giving me more since i've desaturated all the color that was there before i'm not building on top of like basically like a yellow base and so my colors are going to be a little bit more true to um, where I'm starting here but that's totally going to depend on like the color that you have to start with like as to how what your results look like um, anyway yeah so that's mostly all I do just the exposure and the color of course you can also change color using the white balance um, and add any of these other stuff if you wanted to like take some texture out for some reason probably wouldn't do that <laughs> anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you need more help with editing um, be on the lookout for new tutorials go ahead and subscribe so you get notified and um, we also have the embracing the storm course which is complete editing in Lightroom everything from how to organize it make it work faster coming up with a fast workflow to developing your own presets and explaining all the modules for every single type of light. Um, I'll link it below if you want to check it out. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for tuning in.